In today's video, we're in Marion, Massachusetts, where Jerry Evans of Chatham Wind and Time is going to show us how to install a new maximum weather station with Wi-Fi sensors. The first step in installing any weather station is to mount the external sensors on the exterior of your home or business or whatever building you're putting it on. In this case, our weather station has a wind speed and direction instrument as well as an outdoor thermometer, meaning that Jerry will install the wind sensor as well as the temperature sensor outside of the house. The wind sensor is mounted on a mast and we recommend that it be 8 feet above the roof and clear of any obstructions like chimneys to give it the most accurate reading. The temperature sensor is mounted in a shaded location that does not receive direct sunlight so that it can give the most accurate reading of outdoor temperature. Then Jerry will feed the sensor wires for both into the attic to be connected to the Wi-Fi sensor interface inside. Installing the Wi-Fi sensor interface is as simple as picking the location on a wall to mount it where it's also near a power source so it can be plugged in and then just using screws to attach it to the wall. In this case the customer chose a linen closet. Once it's mounted, you simply connect the sensor wires to the corresponding terminals on the box, which are clearly marked as you see here. Next, it's time to connect the instruments to the instrument Wi-Fi interface. The instrument interface box is mounted the same way as the sensor interface, on a wall that's close to the instruments where there's a nearby power supply. In this case, the customer chose to mount it in the basement, directly below the instruments, which were on the first floor. Then, you simply connect the wires to the corresponding terminals on the instruments and on the instrument interface box. Once everything's plugged in, be sure the LED lights are illuminated properly as laid out in the owner's manual. Once the wires are hooked up and the LEDs are properly lit, the last step is to connect the instruments to your Wi-Fi network. You'll do this by pulling up the available Wi-Fi networks on your phone, then select the one named maxnet-xx and enter the password of maxnet00. That will take you into the captive portal where you'll enter your own Wi-Fi network name and password and select the instrument sensors you're using for your station. Then, if you've chosen to set up a personal weather station with Weather Underground, you'll fill out the information about your station. You can establish your weather station with Weather Underground by going to www.wunderground.com, select Sensor Network, and click on Connect a Weather Station. Then, you'll follow the prompts and fill out the location and details of your weather station. Once it's connected, you can monitor your maximum weather instruments from anywhere in the world on the Weather Underground site or in their app. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And thanks again to Jerry Evans of Chatham Wind and Time for showing us how it's done. If you have any questions or would like more information, please visit our website or feel free to reach out and we'll be happy to help.